Queen Elizabeth wanted both Prince William and Harry to join the war in Afghanistan, but only Harry's life was deemed expendable enough, according to a shock new ITV documentary, that is, due to be released later this month. Then Army Head General Sir Mike Jackson broke protocol to talk about his private audience with the Queen. She was very clear. She said, My grandsons have taken my shilling, therefore they must do their duty. But it was decided that William, as heir to the heir, the risk is too great. But for his younger brother, the risk was acceptable. Harry, of course, did serve in Afghanistan, actually seeing action in Helmut Province. And when he returned, he expressed the hope that his brother would be given the same chance. Everything in place has been proved that it can actually work. Um, so I don't see why it can't work again. Um, hopefully, for, hopefully for my brother as well, you know, there's a possibility that it can work. But it seemed only the younger royal's life was worth the risk. Prince Harry has been a vocal critic of the royal family, and in particular of his role as the spare heir. He wrote in his memoir, The heir and the spare... There was no judgment about it, but also no ambiguity. I was the shadow, the support, the plan B. I was brought into the world in case something happened to Willie. I was summoned to provide backup, distraction, diversion, and if necessary, a spare part. The Real Crown will air later in April on ITVX.